Hi, Joan Price, coming to you from Lion's Den, talking senior sex. Today's topic is wrinkles and body image. Wrinkles and body image. Here are two separate questions that I got from you. Does wrinkled skin get in the way? With sagging boobs and balls, how do you keep everything out of the way? I, I, we love our young people. I have to guess that these two questions came from young people who have no idea <laughs> what it's like to have sex with someone with wrinkles. And let me explain something to you first. It is the concept of gravity. Yeah. Now, Picture a body and it has wrinkles. That body lies down, say, on the back. Where do the wrinkles go? They just fall back. So if the person with the wrinkles is on the bottom of whatever sex act you may be doing or sexual attention you may be giving that person, then I'm not sure get in the way of what. Um, even, <laughs> even if the wrinkly person is on top, how loose do you think those wrinkles are? They don't, they don't stretch down 6, 8, 12, 14 inches. Um, no, they don't get in the way, okay? They just don't. But let's take the more important concept, and that is the concept of body image. Many people of my age, older and younger, are embarrassed about their bodies because they don't look like 20-year-old bodies anymore. But if you remember what you looked like at 20, were you satisfied with the way your body looked? You were not. You were not. We were never satisfied. So why don't we just give up on the idea that we will ever have the ideal body and just accept our bodies as they're aging. Wrinkly, saggy, who cares? Oh, who cares? You see, I advise people to take a look at where that idea came from, that you have to be young and firm-skinned and hard-bodied in order to be desirable or desirous. And that's just not true. That's, that is ours lifelong. You, when we were growing up, well, I'm going to say, when you were growing up, I'm going to address this now to seniors. When you were growing up, you were fed a lot of mistaken attitudes, were you not? You gave up on a lot of, you rejected plenty of attitudes that you were taught by society, by your parents, by your religion, by your peer group. You just said, no, 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 that's just not, doesn't ring true, or it does not serve me to believe that. You can do that with this. See, we have two things we can do about our aging bodies. We can make ourselves miserable and be insecure, feeling ashamed, or we can celebrate our aging bodies because look how long we've lived. Hooray, we got here. We did not die young, which is the alternative to getting old. You know that, don't you? So celebrate your body. Dress it up in lingerie. Celebrate its capacity for receiving and giving pleasure. Live in joy.